All right, I just bought a big bag of uh, BNC connectors. And uh, these are a bit unusual. They're uh, uh, PC board, let's see, they're PC board mount, okay? They have uh, four pins and a center pin for a PC board mount, but they are male. Uh, so you knew, usually you would see a female version, but I have male version here. That's PC board mount. Now, why do I, why do I want this? Well, I want it from my, my uh, LCR meter. It has four BNCs on the front panel and then there are various fixtures and stuff that you can build. And so I want these four to mount to a PC board that will be my reference plane. And then I can have like test connectors and stuff for different items. And I thought that'd be a useful thing to, to go ahead and design and, 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 and build. So um, in the process of getting these uh, parts and these seem to be pretty good quality i didn't pay much for this bag i forget what i paid for it but it wasn't much um i i noticed that I, i've never really talked about bnc's before and you can see a lot of people think that the actual bayonet part of the bnc is the thing that makes the electrical contact and that's not true um if you have a uh if you have a female part, okay, and the male part, well, the center conductor is self-evident. It's just a, a plug and a socket, and they go, they go together. Um, but the uh, bayonet does not do the electrical connection. It's actually done by a ring in here. It's a, it's a, 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 sh a continuing shield for the, for the part. And when we put them together, then you have a continuous coax. It's, it's impedance matched. Now, that center... Um, shield fits inside this one, okay? And I think I'll draw a picture here, but um, you can see that the, this uh, shielded part that is going to mate onto the inside here has a bunch of slots in it, and that's because it's spring-loaded, so it looks like this, okay? It's going to go in a tube, and it has all these little springy parts. Those springy parts go in and then they, they spring load into it and th those wipe into the part and make contact, okay? So you can make a really good electrical contact without ever screwing the bayonet down. The bayonet helps it from falling off. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, but really all you really need is that, that center thing to go, to go in there, right? Um, so yeah, let me draw a picture first and then I'll show you something else. All right, so the female side of the thing, there's gonna be an outside uh, section, okay? And that is going to be a particular diameter that matches to the dielectric properties and everything to give you 50 ohms. And there's gonna be a, a center conductor in here this one has a female conductor, and uh, then the male part, uh, the center pin is is kind of self-evident. It's going to mate into there. But then the continuing coax, right? Think of this as just a, a braided coax. You, you want to have it just continuous. It actually uh, sort of looks like this. Sometimes it has a little bump on it, okay? And then this is also in a circle, and when it goes inside of this tube, that little, uh, that little finger is going to wipe. This goes in there and it's going to wipe onto the inner conductor of the shield. And that's why they're split. So you can have, you can have this thing spring action, right? It's going to, it's going to have a spring, a spring action as it, as it goes in, right? Okay. So, and, and that's what I show here. You can see the little splits little splits in it and uh, so I got um, when I was working on my LCR meter I needed a cable and I had ordered a cable and then there was uh, some type of problem at customs and it was delayed and so I ordered a second cable and that one came in first but this this one finally came in and I'm actually glad I bought two cables because this one, although these guys are the same, these guys are pretty nice. It actually has better coax. I haven't opened it up, so I won't say it's better coax. Um, but uh, these are 
garbage, okay? If you take a look at, let me zoom, zoom down onto this one. If you, if you look at in here, that inner, inner ring isn't split, okay? I actually, uh, it's real soft pot metal, so I, I, took, the, <laughs> I took the thing, uh, cr cracked it open to, to look to, to verify that internal section there. It, it's just straight walled. It's terrible. Um, and so when it goes into a uh, into a um, female part, it it doesn't. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Uh, it depends on whether it's, it's, it's cocked or not, whether it's going to make contact or not. It was just kind of floating in there and maybe there's a little bit of grease or something. It's just not going to make, it's not going to make contact. It feels loose even when I put it in there. It's not even really tight. So yeah, so these are going in the garbage. Uh, yeah, I've never seen, I've never seen anything like that before. These are just awful. I don't know who... Who came up with that brilliant idea? But uh, yeah, those are going to the trash can. So I don't know if you can check for those when you're buying them. I don't think so. I think it would be very, very difficult to notice it in the photographs, whether these are cruddy or not. Anyway, yeah, that's going in the trash can. And uh, but I will be working on a PC board with these guys. I think that'll be I think that'll be fun.